I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. So let's ignore Halo Wars and play Castle Crashers. Hooray! Those who were subscribed to my channel earlier in the year of last year would remember that I attempted a playthrough of this game and I did so inviting other people to play with me. But unfortunately that just didn't work out because if you wanted those people to continue playing with you then it just, well it never worked and having the playthrough have random people in it, I don't know, I just didn't like it so this time I'm just going to play through the game all by myself because I don't have any friends and that's how I like it. So here we go, Castle Crashers, let's play as the bear. Yes, the bear, because he gets the coolest weapon starting out, and I just unlocked him. He's level one, so let's just go to it. We are rocking out to some fancy folk music. Uh-oh, what's this? That guy's hurt. Somebody needs to help him. Oh, but he's disappearing, okay. So these white guys are going to go out there and see what's going on. I better go with them. These guys are going to tell me how to use items. Press B to use items. Left bumper scrolls through your items above your head. And she'll tell you how to use magic. Hold down the right trigger and then use your buttons and that's how you use magic. See, I got all these bubbles around me. And this guy is going to teach you the basics of combat, which I'll teach you anyway, so forget about him. Let's go up here. But first, there's something back here that I guess I could show you since I do have the shovel already. If you have the shovel item unlocked, you can come here and dig up this dude. His name is Mr. Buddy. He's a dog. And he'll follow you everywhere, and he will help you dig faster. So if you care about stuff like that, here you go. And here we go. The opening cutscene. I'm going to try not to talk too much so I don't ruin the suspense of what's going on. Okay, the cutscene's over. Basically, that evil dude just stole our king's magic stone, and we need to get it back. And that's not all that he took. We'll be finding out about that in a little bit, though. But for now, we have to kill these barbarians that are in our way. They don't have a lot of HP, so they're going to die very quickly, so you don't have to hit them too many times. But you do want to be careful, because they can hit you back. If you get killed, it's all over. It's not like multiplayer where potions will instantly heal you. You uh, have to use them manually, because if you die, you're dead. And you gotta do the whole level again. Just don't let yourself die. Seriously though, you shouldn't have any trouble with this first level here. There is something to dig up here, so let's dig it. Oh, it's an item that it didn't show me because I already acquired it, but there you go. You can also pick up this pitchfork here if you did not know that, but okay, let's move on. Everything's on fire, and there's this hut up here, probably filled with barbarians. In fact, it is filled with barbarians. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. The way I'm fighting these enemies is called air juggling. It's pretty easy to do. You hit um, the A button and the X button at the same time to get them into the air, and then you can either just mash X and keep hitting them and keep them in the air like this, or you can alternate your attacks and throw in some Ys. I'm throwing all these button combos out there like everyone knows what I'm talking about, but nobody has a clue what I'm talking about. Oh well. I'm gonna have to go down these steps, so Jura, come on! Oh wait, I'm only level one, so I don't have the dash attack. Forget it, I wasn't trying to do anything. So normally a lot of people around my level, level one, they aren't gonna be doing like nine damage like I am. But since I'm using the bear and I start off with this wooden club as my weapon, it's got plus five attack and plus five defense, and minus five to agility, which I don't have any agility yet, so it's pretty much all perks, all benefits. Plus, it has the chance of landing a critical hit. But anyways, we've beaten the first area, so now we can go here to the back, backsmith, 
the blacksmith, duh, and pick up the compass. But, um, for now I'm going to go ahead and pick up my giraffe animal, because he increases my experience, and he is an animal that you will unlock later in the game, but I have him now because I've played through it before. And I want him equipped now so I can level up sooner. And I'm going to be showing you all of the animal orbs and all the weapons that I can currently get right now. I'm pretty sure I can get them all. And I'm pretty sure I know where they are all at, so just hang on a minute. I'll show you where they're all at. Just hang on. Get some more gold. I've already bought everything, so there's really no point in picking up any more gold. But I guess I can buy things for other people if I ever play with them. I'm very open to playing with people on this game, because I still have other characters I need to unlock, so... Also, I've never beaten Insane Mode, because I've never had a full team to play it with. So if anybody who's watching this has some um, decently leveled characters, um, I'd love to play Insane Mode with some people. Just, you know, don't make me have to revive you every five seconds. That wouldn't be fun. Anyways, uh... Alright, I'm level 2. Now I can do this. Ha ha! Spin attack! Spin attack! It's actually a really weak attack and you shouldn't use it ever, because it only does one damage. So I don't see what the point of that is other than to get out of sticky situations, but there's better ways of doing that. So there's a lot of barbarians here, and uh, it might take some people a long time to get rid of them, but of course, you can just group them all together like so, and hit them all at the same time, which I'm actually doing a terrible job of doing. I just got shot in the face by an arrow. Come on, get up! Sheesh. I really thought I would be doing more damage than this, but... I gotta remember I'm at level 2, and that makes these enemies take a little while to kill. So I'm sorry if this is taking too long. This guy's looting my dead buddy. Get him out of here. Alright. Let's move on. What's that thing in the background? Oh, whatever, I'm sure we won't be fighting it later on. Some more barbarians, and there's this puddle of water here. If only there was an animal to make me walk faster in puddles of water. Alas, I don't think there is. What do my arrows look like? I think, yeah, they're fish. Eat fish. That'll probably look funny once I get my agility much higher. But for now, they're just pretty slow, useless arrows and shouldn't have to use them for any situation ever other than a certain level later on. Or certain bosses that you can't get close to. Or something like that. Anyways, this is our first boss right here, if you didn't notice. And it is General Ram. That's what I call him, because he's just a big ram. And you he's the easiest boss in the freaking world, so you shouldn't have any problem any problems. That's trouble and problems combined into one word. Do you like that? I don't. But he's already dead, and here's some more barbarians. Yeah, you see that weapon that that one has, the spiked club? That's actually a really powerful magic weapon. But... Oh, maybe he dropped it. No, he didn't. He just dropped the crappy axe. Oh, well. More barbarians. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering how to decapitate enemies, because every once in a while you'll kill an enemy and their head will fly off, just kill them with a regular X attack and every time their head will come off. There you go. So that's a little tip for you, even though it really doesn't help at all. All it does is cut off their heads. But, you know, it's, there you go. Now you know how to do it, I guess. Another shitty axe, thank you, but no thank you. We're almost done with this level. There's only a few more barbarians, as you can see I just got a crit there. That's another benefit to this weapon that the teddy bear has. 
I'm only level 3 and I am equipped with a level 20 requirement weapon. There's a door here, just pull out the boomerang. We're almost done here, this is the final stretch. Only a few enemies stand between us and the boss. Pick up these cherries for some health, because I am at half health, so I'm going to have to be careful here. It'd be quite embarrassing to die against the first boss. There he is, big guy. Oh, what's behind him? Oh. My. God. This is not good. This guy is really big. I thought we were going to have to fight the guy before him. I've never fought this guy before. This is dangerous. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's got such a scruffy beard. He has that backpack with pin missiles or... I... Ah! It's like just a big door. A big shield door on his back. And that is his main weapon. He's going to try and throw his spikes at you, and he's going to try and slam it on the ground. And now he's going to get drunk. That's his solution to everything. Basically, anytime you see him moving to do an attack, just sidestep him. Easy stuff. And he's dead. Alright, there's some bananas, a coin, and a treasure chest. I love the music in this game. I've listened to the soundtrack many times, actually. But then again, there's a lot of games that I've listened to the soundtracks of. Is it sad that I love video game music more than most other forms of music? I don't think it is. Alright, lay it on me, babe! It's like blood trickling from my bear's face, and that prince is just... Prince, oh boy. We know what's on my mind. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. So now we go to the forest entrance. Another thing that plagued my first playthrough of this game was the 10 minute time limits. Those were pretty shitty. I'm going to be making the first video of this playthrough, well, pretty long. And I'm going to try and make the rest of them pretty long, too. I'm on my alligator buddy here, but, uh... So what's going on here? It looks like the thieves and the barbarians from the last level had kidnapped some princesses and they were the barbarians just handed the princesses over to these thieves here and now the thieves are going to deliver them somewhere else. I mean, it's like there is a story to this game, but it's not in text. You kind of just have to interpret it as you go. And that's how I'm interpreting it so far. That evil guy came in, stole that stone, and now the barbarians came in to try and help the evil guy get into the castle because it wouldn't be an easy feat. And then the barbarians, while the king was distracted with his stone, kidnapped three of the princesses, one of them being black. I don't understand. Are they from different castles? I don't know. But, yeah, so those princesses got kidnapped and now the thieves are taking them deeper into the woods and I have to go follow them. So that's basically what's happening so far. You can't keep me off my alligator of swords. Don't even try to do it. It's pretty easy to juggle people while you're on the alligator of swords too. Which doesn't have any arms, which, you know, people were saying that the Tyrannosaurus Rex, if it survived past that extinction event, that it would have lost both of its arms because they were basically vestigial, you know. T-Rex had those two gimpy little arms on it. Couldn't really use them for much, could it? Why am I even talking about that? Jeez, what a nerd. Anyways, there's a bird back here you can pick up. It helps you find fruit in trees, such as this one. And there is also a dig spot here, so can you dig it? Let's do it. It's a weapon. Oh, I don't know what it is though, so you're just gonna have to find out. Uh, oh. I love the music in this level, but I'm going to have to talk through it. Oh well, it was On Instinct's gamer picture again, but nobody likes On Instinct, so we're just going to be mature about it and not sit underneath him and get pooped on. Also, uh, 
If you have a certain animal that I'm going to meet up with later, you can get a very special weapon here. In fact, it's this weapon, which you can use for useless stuff, but um, you can also use it for useful things that I will show you later on. Probably not in this playthrough, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure in this playthrough. God. I'm just lost in my own words. I do this thing where I talk before I think, so... Sometimes I just start talking without thinking, and I kind of lose track of where I'm going with my conversation to myself. Because, you know, I am uploading this to YouTube where a bunch of people can see it, but in reality, I'm just sitting here in my living room, talking to myself, playing a video game. Think you can poop on me? I think not. Actually, he did. Here's the most useful animal in the game, the seahorse. See this puddle of water here? Normally I'd be slogging through it like it was molasses, but due to the power of the seahorse, I am able to run through it with ease. Thank you, seahorse. But I'm going to have to take my talents to this giraffe here. Ah, trolls! I hate trolls. Oh my god. No, I'm not talking about internet trolls. Although I do hate them too, I never really have to deal with them. Because I don't have too many subscribers yet, which is good, because that means that I'm not going to get trolled. Usually when you're under, like, a thousand subscriptions, that's not something you have to worry about. But I don't have any bombs to get this animal back here. But if you have any bombs, just bomb out this wall right here and you'll be able to access that animal. There's also a hidden item back there. But it's useless, and there's also an item in this treasure chest. Also useless. So really, don't worry about any of those. And continue on. Grizzly Bear! Oh my god. That scared me. First time I played through this game, that bear, I thought it was going to turn out to be a boss or something. But nope, he just poops his pants and runs away. Hey, gold. Don't mind if I do. So we're almost at the end of the level here. This looks like, this looks to be the thieves' uh, home base here. They're doing their laundry. Got some tents with spoons and pans and... Barrels, picture of some dude, campfires going. What's going on in here? Ah! What is this thing? A sausage monster? Black furry sausage teeth troll monster with sticks and leaves? Leaves? This is actually a good experience grinding spot if you feel up to doing it. I really don't care. But, uh,. Of course, before I kill him, I am going to farm a bunch of these little black guys to come out of him. Because as you can see, he's making them come out of his face. And all I need to do is basically just stand here, let them beat on my shield while he makes more of them for me. Be patient. And eventually, he'll stop making them. It is, however, dangerous because if you get backed into a corner, they can pretty much kill you immediately the second that you drop your shield. But I do it like that, and look at all that money that dropped for me. That's pretty cool. There's also some meat. Now we're going into the abandoned mill. Obviously, we were being chased by some large furry monster, but really not too sure what it... Whoa. That is a big hand, that's a big eye, and oh my god, that's a big face! We gotta get out of here, man! There's an achievement for not fucking up at this part, but, you know, I probably won't get it, because I've already unlocked it anyway, so who cares? But I'll try to be as perfect as I can with my jumps. Also, I'm gonna have to edit out that swear word I put back there. I'm gonna try not to swear this playthrough if I can do that. Then again, who cares about swearing? Why do people make such a big deal about it? Saying words like shit and asshole on TV. You can't say asshole, but you can say ass. 
and whole like two words later. They really... Never mind, I'm not gonna bring, go into some tangents about my hatred for TV. Although I suppose I could, because there's not much else to talk about here. All I'm doing is jumping over logs, running through doorways, getting pooped on by the deer in front of me, while my giraffe looks back at the monster that is chasing us, and it is inevitably going to catch us and devour us messily. But I'm not too worried about it, because I think we're going to be okay. Isn't that right, Teddy Bear? Alright, so we did it. Good job, guys. And now we are in the river. The mighty Midas River. And we're coming up on 30 minutes of recording time here, so I'm going to have to cut the recording short here. As you can see, the princesses are up above us. Are we going to be able to make it through the river system before the sharks devour them? I don't know, maybe I'll keep recording. No, I won't. 30 minutes is too much. Ah, damn it, I fell off my fish. Okay. Pause up, eh? I'll see you guys next time.